Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm gonna cover one of our truly most exciting features that we've ever launched. As you'll see from the title, I'm talking about landing pages. This is gonna be a game changer for a lot of newsletters who are using third-party sites to create a landing page that they can customize for conversion optimization and testing, as well as simply just adding additional content and context to their users before they sign up. Before I get started, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using the default signup forms. The default landing page that has the signup form within it is very straightforward and offers the user a binary choice. They hit the landing page, either they subscribe or they don't. That ends up actually having a very strong conversion rate because there's nothing to distract the user. There's nothing that takes them away from the question at hand, which is whether they're going to subscribe or not. However, we recognize that many users do want to provide more context, want to provide social proof, and want to give users a preview without necessarily forcing them into that binary decision. We respect that choice, which is why we've built out this very cool feature. But to get started, I'm going to go to my settings tab. I'm going to go to website, and I'm going to click on this new pages button. Now, this is going to let me now customize my landing page. It's going to open up this experience that is very similar to the design lab. I've already gone through and made some updates here, but I'm going to walk through all of them and show you what the impact is. Under the main section, this is going to govern this top section that's above the fold. It's a full page takeover, and you can see that there's a couple elements here. By default, you will have no background image, but you can control the background color. You could set this to be a flat, just fill in the background. Otherwise, you can actually add a background image, which is what I've done here to add some texture, add a little bit of a gradient to the design. In our resources, we're going to have a couple different websites that are free to use that you can generate some really cool textured backgrounds that will just add a ton of visual interest to your newsletter. If you do have design resources, you can certainly have your own designer mock something up into a PNG format and then submit it into here. We give you the, the dimensions that we recommend and you can create something truly custom. But in this way, there are ways that you can very easily and quickly make something that looks really great. The next thing we have is this image. I used another tool, which we'll include in the resources that allows you to create a phone mock-up. And I just took a screenshot of an existing article. It's not beautiful, as you guys know, if you've watched my videos, but it does the job here. And so I've taken that mock-up image and I've uploaded it here. So this is a kind of a vertical, almost Instagram story type of dimensions that create that very classic newsletter imagery that you see at the front. It doesn't have to look like this. You can have the one that's a little bit offset that has like the phone floating with a shadow underneath of it. You could have something that's completely different than the phone preview. It's up to you. But when we created this image, that's what we had in mind. You're certainly free to do whatever you'd like. The overline is going to be some text that shows up over the name of the publication or the headline. So right here we can say, I can make this the turn and you'll see what it shows up. The best golf news delivered daily, I wish. All right, cool. So I've changed these two. The text right here, the color is white, but the overline is up here. Maybe I don't even need the overline because the logo is up here and we can get rid of that. So it just shows the turn. The best golf news delivered daily. Now that I have that as the headline, maybe we need some text, maybe we don't. If I get rid of the text, it's going to, as soon as I leave this box, get rid of the text right here. By default, it's going to fill in your, the description for your publication. For the headline, the default is going to be the name of the newsletter. And then this is going to be the description for the newsletter. Now, if you want to change this, you can, but you're going to need to have a description and a headline. Next, you're going to have this placeholder text. This is going to show up inside the message there. Join 10,000 plus golfers. You can change the subscribe button. Some of the stuff is actually going to pull from the website settings. So in the website settings, you have the option to change the uh, fonts and the, the header font and the body font. And so that's going to come from those settings. So this is going to be the header. This is going to be the body font. And I think that there's a third option that you can set as well, which will dictate this text in here. Next is the underline. So this is going to be something like, this is, I think, where a lot of people would be like followed by Tiger Woods. And I'm going to make that white as well. You could just have something underneath there if you want a little bit of text underneath the subject line. I actually don't know that I want anything there, so I'm going to delete that. It gets rid of that. Next, we're going to have this redirect link. This is just going to take users to the publication. 
this could be, let me have a preview. So you see, let me have a preview. This changes there. So this goes over kind of the text above the fold, the image, the background. Fairly simple, but is effective in getting your message across, creating a visually interesting experience that you can then brand for your users. The next section that we're going to launch this feature with is the testimonial section. So spoiler, we're going to be launching a way for you to collect testimonials from your users. That's coming later this year. But right now we have on this page a testimonial section where you can choose the background color. You can first of all choose to show it or not show it. You don't have to show it. But if you do want to show it, you can change the background color and then select a testimonial from the this list right here. As you can see, the select testimonials. This is going to be where we have the feature for collection. But right now, if you add a testimonial, you can add the uh, headshot uh, profile picture, their name, the description, and the message. And it's going to, by default at launch, going to start off at five stars, but we'll be adding some features to customize the actual exact rankings and whatnot. In this case, we have Brooksy, Michael, Block, and Tiger Woods recommending this publication. If I go into these sections, you can see how I've set that up. And now they show up here. I can also then align these to be centered left or right. So I'll keep that centered now and then can change this right here. Recommended by the best. And then this is what people are saying. And so you can change that text as well. And you can change the colors of that. Lastly, the featured post section, again, you're going to have the option to show it or not. So if I don't want to show it, I can just have this be right here and then this be above the fold. Let's say I do want to show the preview section. So this is going to be from the archive. I have the option to change this text. So I change this to from the archive and this is featured posts. This redirect link is going to say more posts, which is going to be right there. So I can change the text that shows up. I can change this alignment. So I can do centered. I can do right. I can do left. For me, I can choose up to three featured posts. So if I delete this one, it's just going to disappear, but I can always add it back. It's going to show me a list of all my posts. And there we go. I can change the background color here. So if I want to make this black, I can do that. I can make the headline color white. So the last thing is I can change this background color if I wanted to make it pink, for example. This might not look very good, but I can make it pink. You can see that it changes the background color there, just like the other section. So pretty straightforward. Once I make these changes, I can publish to the site. I can view the site, and this is going to pull up my landing page. And there we have it. This will track your subscribers just like normal if you have event tracking set up. We're going to be releasing some future uh, features coming soon that add some enhancements to this page and customizations, things like a nav bar that you can optionally turn on that will add the rest of your links to the top, different things like that. But for now, we're really happy with how this is shaping up and are very confident that this is going to be very successful for a lot of creators. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your time in, in viewing this video and we can't wait to see what you build.